Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, this is going to be your weekend reading, Virgo, for July. Where am I at? June 30th through July uh, 4th. Okay. And happy, happy Independence Day to those of you here in the U.S. Okay, let me see. Let's get in this reading. Just please be mindful that some of the messages may resonate. They may not. Just take what fits. Leave the rest. Don't try to force it to fit. Okay. And all right, let me see here. What are these messages for Virgo? You know, Virgo, I did, I did start your reading. This is the second time I'm starting it. <clears throat> and when the reading started, there was two cards that flipped out. It was the King of Cups and the Knight of Wands. And it was coming across to me as a very, like, lusty, powerful, take charge energy showing up. But as I started to go through the reading, it, it began to make no sense after a while, which usually I don't have a problem with that. But for some reason, it was just... It was almost as if spirit was just trying to tell me to show you that small little piece. And I don't know if that's a message for somebody. Um, but then the rest of the reading was just fading away. Now, I don't, I'm giving you the second shot here. So I don't know if this is going to happen again. But we're going to take a look and see. Because <laughs> for some reason, it, it just started deteriorating. Okay. So Temperance, I'm going to do the Celtic Cross. Temperance, Six of Wands, Page of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. Look at all this Pentacle energy. King of Swords is back. Knight of Cups, Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords. Wow, Pentacles and Swords, left, right, and center. Air and um, Earth. What the... What the heck? And one cup card. Okay, bottom of the deck, the shadow side. This is the devil energy. Okay, there's some kind of like anxiety. In, this is lovely for the weekend. Some of y'all need to go out and just go to that picnic and have a few, a couple of margaritas. Do what you gotta do for this weekend. There's some kind of toxic look in the 10 of swords. Okay, something's over somebody's ending something there's a new opportunity with somebody else over this weekend okay <laughs> somebody's going to like a family barbecue or there's going to be something you go to some kind of family event or community event or um there's a reunion of some sort or something going on a wedding or a celebration of of some kind over the weekend um you might this might happen at night there's somebody there. Um, hmm. Somebody going to run into your toxic ex that you have kids with, possibly. You may find out that person's getting remarried. Um, there is also oh, some type of betrayal and toxicity. Okay, connected to this weekend. Hooray. Gee, that's exciting. Okay. All right, let me see here. Okay, but past energy, you've got temperance. So it looks like you are kind of, at some point, you like leveled out in the past. Everything is cool. But right now, presently, which is today, you're standing here in a very positive victory play, like position here. Um, you're standing here like a winner. Like there's nothing you can do to lose, I'm hearing. I don't know what that means. Um, the challenge is for you <laughs> to not go around telling everybody what a winner you are. <laughs> that doesn't even sound like a, <laughs> like a Virgo thing, but look. See, this is the position you are right now on top of your game. Okay. It's almost as if you don't want to tell or show it that you're doing so that you're doing well. I don't know if that means you're going to actually be in a sport, play some sports or something, or that you're just in this position where you're like, look at me, winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm doing good. I'm doing great. You are kind of humble. You don't want to boast. And that's why it sits in the position of a challenge. But at the same time, you should 
there's you need to start boasting about yourself a little bit virgo because you don't you know and it's okay it's okay not not to do um like i know you're not someone who's going to try to seek validation but you should boast about your accomplishments virgo and you should put it out there you know i don't care get someone to write a newspaper article about you you know um just your achievements take take pictures or um you know show people or tell people you know not not to like make people feel bad i don't think that's anything you would do I, I feel like that's why you wouldn't do it is because you just have such a caring heart and you don't want others to to feel jealous or anything or you don't want to come across as being like you know oh i'm better than you but virgo you are better than other people <laughs> and you you are and you need to like put that out there and who gives a f what other people think you weren't put on this planet to live up to everybody else's expectations and they're not here to do that with you so yeah i don't know what's going on for you this weekend okay like i said maybe it's because there's some toxic stuff showing up here over the weekend and you're just like you know what I'm not letting this get me down. I'm going to let my diamonds shine. <laughs> and I'm going to keep myself like right out in the open, expose myself, all my greatness. This feels to me, <coughs> you're, see, you have the king of um, pentacles. So you're already in this position of success. Okay. In your mindset, you know it, you know, you know it. Even if you're like living out of a cardboard box on the side of the street, somewhere down on Skid Row, it doesn't matter because your mindset, it's all about your mindset. You know, you can get out of that at any moment and be wherever you need to be in your life, you know. Um, but so your mindset is like, I'm set, I'm stable, I'm good. Money's coming in. I have my material success. I have my wealth. Um but you just you keep walking that in that direction and that is why you're a winner here and i feel like for this weekend <coughs> something might be coming up for you doesn't have to be like running into a toxic ex it could be just some type of you know the higher you go in life the better you do for yourself the more the devil wants to take you down and that's just the truth right so the more success you have, the better you, you, the more accomplishments you have in life, the devil try to take you down with, he'll bring in people who are jealous. He will bring in people who will try to cut you down or, or make you feel like you can't do well. Um, it, it, so he, it, it's kind of like the, you, you ever notice, like you just have to be more cautious and careful of who you associate yourself with going forward. So you may have some toxic energy of some sort showing up over this weekend, but I feel like it's, if you're attracting, if you notice that that's happening a lot to you in your career, in your life, whichever, and yesterday we had that reading where there was like somebody was jealous, but if you notice in your life you, that starts to tick up a bit, it's because you're doing well. That's how that works because you're doing well when everybody is being super super nice to you and people are not like you're not a threat they're not gonna do anything you'll hear nothing but the moment you start doing better and if and i see you um coming into this energy over this weekend where you're gonna be realizing like wow my ex doing that and this person doing this and these family members are like that and it's kind of like you know what i'm getting all this negative pushback because i am actually climbing up that ladder way ahead of everybody else you know whatever that ladder might be for you so this weekend i feel like starting in the beginning of this weekend it's really important for you because you seem like you've you've balanced yourself out in the past you got yourself to a place okay where and and this may not be for all of you some of you are still climbing that ladder and you're you know you're still working on it but for others you got yourself in this place where you're like you know what i'm good i'm good i know who i am i'm successful 
I can be successful. I'm working my way up to that. I'm doing really well. And yeah, people are starting to come out of the woodwork. Some of them are supporting me, but a lot of them are having a problem with my success. And they're trying to find ways to poke holes in that, you know, but with the temperance card, yeah, yeah. You're starting from a place of like, at, where you're at, you were at peace with self, okay? So as you go forward, here comes that Knight of Swords. So here comes that assertive energy coming towards you, all right? Going through the weekend. This is a person. Let me take a look. I mean, it's an energy of, of people, places, and things. Here's Five of Swords. This is what I'm talking about. See, these readings, I'm telling you, some there's a lot of sword and a lot of pentacle energy. Somebody's coming in this weekend. And this is like, I feel like fair warning, who's going to try to like give you some hell, a little bit of maybe bullying. Um, it's abuse. Somebody's going to come in with this abusive energy because you're, you're doing well. That's why that devil card was there. That toxic, toxic stuff coming up this week. I know some of you are like, I'm just staying in my house, not going out. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> but if you want to stay in hermit mode the rest of your life and just hide, you know, you got to show up sometimes. You got to stand up. Sometimes you have to get in the ring because you got to put your boundaries down and, sh and show up to people. You know, you don't have to walk around every day being, you know, pushing people over and knocking them over. But when somebody's coming at you, you got to stand your ground. Doesn't mean you have to like throw punches, but you have to stand your ground, you know, and wherever you go this weekend, a little bit of pushback. Okay. Your advice though here is to just <laughs> bless their bleeding hearts. <laughs> your advice this weekend, six of pentacles, like, oh, you need a little attention. Tamara, are you jealous? <laughs> so your advice, here you go. Six of Pentacles. Kill him with kindness. <laughs> that's your that's your pushback. That's your that's your integrity. Because you can't be in a position of rising and act like a shithead. You can't. If you're gonna get into a position where you're gonna be kind of like better off in your life you need to you you can't just be walking around with a new car and you know acting like somebody who is still riding a bike you know you have to like level up with your level up so <coughs> that means that whoever is coming in into your life and is making some kind of chaos or causing problems or being mouthy or assertive or angry you just got to like drop a couple pennies, uh, like treat them like a charity case. <laughs> I'd say, but it is what it is. You got to treat them like a little bit of a charity case. Like th look how this, this person up here is giving back out of sense of duty. Okay. This person up here is in a much better position than the children here. And so the best way to deal with people who are pushing back because they're jealous or they're having a hard time it's just you need a you need a uh, you need a muffin and a coke you, you hungry yeah you, are you everything are you good everything okay with you you know what are you are you hungry you angry you lonely you tired you need a nap here you go here you go here's a couple bucks go get yourself a cheeseburger over on the corner you know Get a milkshake. You need a milkshake? Like you gotta treat people who are coming at you like that with care. <coughs> this was supposed to be a love rating. What the heck? I don't know what's happening here, but I feel like there's a strong message. I'll, I'll, I'll finish this and get into love for the weekend, but there's something going on here, Virgo, that you need to know. Like whoever's coming at you, if you're gonna say anything, um, yeah, offer up, offer up some help or something, because I feel like diffusing the tension is the first thing that needs to be done here. You know, diffuse any problems or tensions, or just don't respond. Okay, just don't respond. Now, this King of Swords, this could be somebody, male or female energy. This is the per. This is someone's external to you, and I feel like that's. They're connected to this, um, given this pushback. Okay. 
Four of Wands. Oh, 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 oh. And the moon, okay, and the emperor. So it's either a father and a brother giving you a hard time, or it's an ex that you were connected with, or someone you're currently connected with. Could be a father or mother of your children. Um, it could be family. They're connect there's, there's a connection to family. I'm gonna say this, whether it's through marriage or your actual family, and there's a connection to deception and lies, okay? God, I hope that nobody comments and says this is exactly what's going on because this is difficult this weekend for you with, I get, it feels like some type of family, either this is, you know, like I said, your immediate family or your people you thought were in your support group because now you're rising up, you like the cream, cream of the crop here you're rising up people are giving you a hard time could be people you're um someone that you have a romantic attachment to giving you a hard time it's interesting though because you have the knight of cups in your hopes and fears and i feel like this is more like part of you know it's like you really hope that people will admire you for the work you've done and and you know these family members or whomever in your life Really hope that they would be admir like admiring and giving the support rather than giving you a hard time. You know, that's really what you want. And you're hoping at some point, I feel like, you know, they'll propose a, a toast to all the accomplishments you've had. You know, that's kind of what you want, you know. But I also feel like, like you hope for that, but at the same time you're fearing that's not going to happen. And that might be like a little bit of a wake-up call because you have the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Um, I think you're going to come to terms with this whole situation that um, whoever these people are, are extremely insecure and extremely deceitful, you know, or this person, person, places, or things. And, and you can't let that stop you from making your, you know, have your growth, okay? So like I said, some of you might be going to like, I don't know, maybe you go to a barbecue or picnic over the weekend and... There's just some stuff that gets said, you know, and, and you just have to just be like, you know, you need another scoop of um, macaroni salad. You need some more mustard on your cat, your hot dog. Like you just kind of have to just ignore it really. And just, you know, act as if they're not even saying it <laughs> because I feel like, you know, some of you may already understand this situation. You already know these people, places, or things. You already know how they're going to work. And for some reason, you may have to get into something over the weekend that you're just like, here we go again. Now i got to listen to this. <laughs> and you just blow it off, you know, because you're here to have a good time and you're here to play. And, you know, whatever event you go to or whatever you're doing. Um, let's get into love, though. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave this reading here and I'm going to restart a new one because it was a hard time getting started. I'm going to leave this here. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoy that. See ya.